Okay, so this is a little dark. Who cares? I gotta, I gotta, I gotta talk about your reunion here. You know, I took my mother to her 50th high school reunion from Audubon High School, class of 1944. I know they just had their 65th reunion, 65 years. For you folks that are sitting on the edge of going to this reunion, you gotta go. I don't care how young you are. I don't care how old you are. Think of this. In that room, some of you will be spanning 80 years of Audubon High School history. My mother, my aunts, my uncles went to Audubon High School in the 30s. And it makes no difference how old we are. You younger folks, you can see from us the camaraderie that you can have there. You can, you'll be talking to people that went to high school with your grandfathers, with your grandmothers, that knew somebody else. You all have a lot in common. And you know what you don't have in common anymore? You don't have to worry about going to a reunion like this and be the best dressed or worry about being successful as you did in those early days. Because the most important thing now when you go to the reunions is your health good? Have you had a good life? And stay away from the women that want to talk about the grandchildren. Okay. Now, if I can keep my train of thought going here, I would, I would love to be back there with you. I would love to be talking to you and talking about your stories and uh, your stories and found out, find out what you did with your lives and if it went the right way, did it go the wrong way, and. Gosh, I would love to see this to be a really great reunion that can build and build and build just as Facebook is now building. And I'll give you another reason about this young and old thing. I just got an email from, I mean, a Facebook message from somebody I didn't know. Oh, did you, did you know my uh, Linda Henning? Yes, I went to school with Linda Henning through sixth grade when I flunked, but she lived right around the corner from me. Oh, Linda Henning is my aunt. Her mother married my grandfather. I'm from the class of 86. Class of 86. We're from the class of 65, 66, 67, and hopefully you'll have some there from the class of 61, 62. And if you really go out there, you can find some other, some more oldies but goodies out there. But more so than just a reunion of high school students, think of it as a reunion of family. Five, six, seven generations of you people out there. Albert Gamo, I know you're still there. My cousin Joey Ryan, you're out there somewhere. My family's still back there. You can go to the reunion. Albert, you probably won't. Like your father, you like my grandfather. Keep you to yourselves. You're looking good, though, dude. Any case, I just was thinking about this and thinking about this and seeing all those comments. And if I can get one or two of you out there for this reunion and you can build upon it, what a great thing to have for the future. Always, all Audubon, any class reunion, the only prerequisite is you still have to be up above the ground. And even like me, even in a wheelchair is fine. So here's an opportunity for you out-of-work people to go hobnob and go for a job. Are you single? And is that little, little hottie over there, the one you were chasing back in 1965, maybe she's available now. And uh, for you girls, well, okay, we didn't age too gracefully. So the guy that was really hot back then, he ain't so hot now. Except you missed out on me. Hot then, still hot. And for you single girls, I will always say this. Are you married? And you say no. And I say, you want to be? And you look at me funny and then I say, I'm, I'm dying and, and I'm rich and I'm going to die soon. How does that work for you? Anyhow, for those of you go, have a good reunion. Enjoy yourselves. Get some stories out back to me on Facebook and... And, uh, and y'all have a good time here. This is Gus and Orton saying bye now.